Hello everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I'm starting this video with one of my favorite signs in mathematics, and that is the integral sign. So what fun integral are we going to be looking at today? In physics, we quite a lot, uh, well, we use quite a lot the, for instance, the exponentials. So we often integrate functions such as e to the x, or even some funky complex numbers such as e to the i, x, or also Gaussian functions, and uh, other wonderful things. Now today, just for fun, I want you guys to be thinking about this next integral. So what if we take a really important number in, uh, in physics, for instance, the integral of pi, then we raise that to the power of x, and we want to integrate that with respect to x. So have a thing, and have a go. Okay, now let's have a look at the solution. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is just to aid the integration, I'm going to say that this is absolutely equivalent to the natural log ln of e raised to the pi of x. Because remember, ln of e, they're inverse functions, so ln of e pi raised to the power of x is actually just equal to pi to the x. I'm not going to forget the dx sign. Now, straight after that, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tip. Anytime we're integrating a, an expression which has an exponent and uh, it's raised to that exponent, a very useful tip to try that normally works is to use a u substitution and then uh, essentially whatever is in your exponential, whenever it is e raised to the power of, you can set that equal to u. So I'm going to say that u is equal to pi of x. Then I'm going to have my du will be equal to the derivative of pi to the power of x with respect to x, so d by dx of pi to the power of x. Well, just on the side here, I'm going to do this d by this derivative, d by dx of pi to the power of x. Well, we're going to need to use a trick here once again. So I'm just going to represent that as, let's say, e to the natural log of pi to the power of x. Now, using the properties of the logarithmic function, I can say that this is equal to e raised to the power of x ln of pi. And now I can actually use the chain rule, can't I? Uh, because this will just be equal to the derivative of the uh, whole expression. So remember, the derivative of e to the power of, I don't know, x, let's say, is just e to the x. So this will be equal to e to the power of x, ln of pi, multiplied by the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function is x ln of pi. So if I was to differentiate um, just over here, x ln of pi uh, d by dx of that, this will of course be just equal to ln of pi. So by the chain rule, this will just be equal to ln of pi. Now remember e to the x ln of pi, that is equal to ln of pi to the x times ln of pi, uh, which is of course equal to pi to the x times ln of pi. Okay, well, in that respect, du will be equal to the derivative of pi to the x with respect to x, uh, which is pi to the x ln of pi dx, like so. What we can do next is simply rearrange for, for dx in preparation for substituting back into our original integral. So this will be equal to du divided by pi to the x, ln of pi. However, remember that u is actually equal to pi to the x. So therefore, I'm going to say that dx is equal to du over u, ln of pi. Okay, well, let's substitute back into our original integral, and we can say that this is going to equal to ln 
e to the power of u and rather than dx I'm going to write du over u times the natural log of pi. Now the natural log of pi is uh, just a number so I'm going to take that out of the integration sign this is just a constant the natural log of pi times the integral of ln e to the u divided by u du well this is just equal to ln of pi times the integral of um, well ln of e to the u that's just equal to u that will be the integral of u over u du this is going to cancel out and what we're left with is the integral of ln of pi times the integral of 1 du which is just equal to u plus a constant c. Okay well remember though our original substitution was that u is equal to pi to the x so that was just our original substitution here so let's uh, substitute that back in so this is equal to ln of pi times uh, pi to the power of x plus a constant c and we have actually found our solution so the integral of pi to the x dx should we just write this down over here the integral of pi to the x dx is equal to ln of pi times pi to the x plus a constant. Okay, folks, well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little fun integration problem. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.